I can't believe I'm making this video. I probably won't even upload it, but there's only one way to find out. So for years, I've been making videos about how to start a landscaping business right now with no startup money. And my deepest passion is helping people start and grow their landscaping businesses from zero to 100K. And my videos have helped start somewhere, helped start somewhere around 10,000 businesses that I can quantify. And it's not only helped a lot of people, it's created a lot of success for me on social media. And my truest passion isn't actually even running my own landscaping business. It's helping other people overcome self-limiting beliefs and blocks and get out of a poverty scarcity stricken mindset so they can take charge of their lives and start their own business and be their own boss and become financially independent and know their and grow their self-worth right so in this huge passion of helping people I uh, you know have had this insecurity this imposter syndrome that you know, I haven't grown a million or even multi-million dollar landscaping business myself because that was never even my passion in the first place. My whole passion of growing my own landscaping business was so I could, you know, pay my bills and learn how to run a business and learn just about business. But the real passion is helping people and doing that through social media. And on this journey, I've uh, gotten really good at social media I built an entire business on social media <laughs> and now this social media is a secondary business and so um, this I, so basically I've learned how to create multiple streams of income right that's I guess you could say I'm not rich or anything but it's financially freed me up to the point where I can spend time and energy doing what I love and that's landscaping and making content that helps people and so what I'm talking about here is uh, if you see in my videos I'll be like oh check out jobber software or watch this X mark mower video or um, get this free guide to marketing your business and I get your name and email address and then I put you on my list where you can listen to my podcast and all these things so um, but this other new passion is I'm ask, coming out and asking you do you have any interest at all in learning how to grow your own not only market your business on social media so you get more leads for your actual service business but do you have any interest in growing your own personal brand starting your own podcast your own YouTube channel um, do you have worries or concerns that maybe it's too saturated or it's too late for you or maybe you're not good on camera or, because I've learned certain levers that you can pull on little methods and frameworks where I was just a, a you know a nerdy dude running around with my phone making videos and I didn't know how to get anybody to watch my videos and I learned these little methods like the pop method the POPP method which changed everything for me it made my videos start getting tens of thousands of views and it wasn't me it was just this meth that I learned and it doesn't matter if you're tall or short or rich or poor or skinny or fat or whatever nationality or anything you can get results with the POPP method right and it's basically passion over pressure to peacock and so if you have passion uh, imagine that you um, you know take out your phone and you have an inspiration to make a video and then you think about oh my god people are watching me and they don't they're gonna think I'm weird or the customers gonna think I'm weird because I'm on a property and hopefully if you, you, they sign off on a social media release form so you can make marketing videos for your business but you feel this pressure all of a sudden now well I don't have a hundred thousand dollar truck and I don't have a bunch of crews and I don't have a big house I don't why would anybody watch me I don't so you so but the passion to serve who's on the other side of the camera or basically your smartphone the people watching over helps you overcome the pressure to peacock and so when you do this passion along with this oscillation method that I've figured out which is uh, high energy, low energy, high energy, low energy, and there's a bunch of other stuff I could share with you. You can get, you know, 10 times the amount of views and engagement. So imagine you take out your phone and you make a video 
and you're afraid to upload it, but you do it anyways. And then a week later you check and it has like 32 comments and you know, like, you know, 1850 views and people are interacting and engaging. And now all of a sudden you have maybe customers calling you or people reaching out and you're like, whoa, this is amazing. Like, and it's all positive, right? And it's happening to you. And then you do that again and again. And next thing you know, You've, you're building you know, like an audience and you show up at an event and you're running into people that you know because you're making these videos and like now you can this can get you more customers it can help like the whole world starts opening up social media well uh, I'll tell you a quick story I'm not running errands so waiting for my fresh squeezed juices for my wife and I so I have a minute here uh, I've made 3,000 videos on social media. Any ones that bombed and only got, you know, a couple views, <laughs> all the way to ones that went viral and got, you know, one, two, three, and 3.5 million views per, uh, we've got all types of videos I've created. But I learned about this method. I didn't even know I was doing it at first because back when I was younger, I used to sing and play piano and my friends would like rap and I would sing the hooks and I was trying to be like Usher or whatever. I wanted to be a pop singer. I was landscaping all day so I would go like do music shows and sometimes I would do even do karaoke and I would go win these karaoke competitions and I wasn't even the best singer. I felt weird, I had imposter syndrome. But I didn't even know back then I was doing the pop method, right? And so my presence on stage and the way that I would sing would like I won first place in a karaoke competition against 800 other contestants and it was like I think it was a six week competition and I won they announced my name in front of everybody and and then there was people that were like upset and then they disqualified me after I won because a bunch of people were going up to the uh, judges and they disqualified me for being a professional singer because it was in the contract when you sign up for the competition, you're not allowed to be a professional singer. And I was like, what? I'm not a professional singer? Wait a second. I won a karaoke competition against 800 people? And there was money too. And I was winning some competitions that I was making money to help pay my bills at night. <laughs> and I won for being a, this is awesome. Like it was like this amazing thing, right? Uh, but it wasn't, I wasn't even that great singer. I was just so passionate almost to the point check this out see there's a thin, thin line between like genius and lunatic like when you ride the line of like uh, uh what's the word eccentric so there's a thin line between eccentric and crazy and what is that results you know a, a million bucks or are you winning you go over that line you're crazy and i figured out how to be so passionate and not break character that, and this is just with videos too, this is with anything, I'm not talking about just karaoke, that my passion and, and my my everything, my voice and how I would be, the state of being, was almost like an actor. Like you're committing so, you're 100% committed, but that fear in the back of your head is like, these people think I'm, I'm a nutcase. Like, so, and the, how I figured that out is one time, there was this kind of like uh, bar, concert venue, nightclub down the street from my house where I grew up and they throw music shows in there. They did all types of stuff. It was called the Emerald Theater. If you're in Michigan, you might know what it is. And I actually got to do uh, sing live in, at a few different concerts there. And I was like a special halftime guest at a halftime show of like thousands of people. It was a musical uh, and, and all this stuff. And when I went on stage and I would sing, because uh, I did like 160 shows. I'm not trying to make this about me. I'm trying to make this. To get... One last time I went in there, it was like a club and a DJ and like, you know, maybe 4,000 people in there. It's maybe 3,000 people. Yeah. Like dancing and stuff. There was this one dude who he had like on like a, a long black leather jacket and black jeans and he was dancing so horribly it was like cringy to the point where like it was like oh my god oh my god does he know how horrible it is and i it felt like this the mirror neurons in your brain 
And I remember watching this dude, and I was like, and he was sp he was so into it and spinning around. I mean, he was having a great time, but he looked like a complete. Um, he looked crazy. <laughs> so I remember that feeling was like, oh my god, do I look like that? When when I because I used to try to pop lock and dance, and I I sucked, man. I had friends that could dance amazing. I would literally go to a dance studio, and I had friends that were phenomenal dancers, and I could never do what they could do. And I practiced so much to the point where people around me who couldn't dance at all sometimes would be dance, Keith, dance, and I could dance. I could do a few things that looked cool, but my timing was off. It was embarrassing. I just knew that I was never going to be good at dancing. This when I was younger, but listen to what I'm saying. There's a point in this. So somehow. I started to learn the distinction um, between um, being passionate and eccentric and crazy. So, and it's like uh, you never go full blown crazy. And so you get feedback. The quality of your communication is the quality of your response. You test things and you start to ramp them up more and more and more. You ramp up being fully engaged and moving your hands around and raising your voice and lowering your voice and doing impressions. Like, think about Jim Carrey in his heyday. Here was a guy who was so physically, comedically talented and with his voices and faces that he was one of the rare individuals who was so gifted at his ability to be in character that he could go like full-blown crazy but the crazier he got was the funnier it got and where a there's I guess you know I love stand-up comedy but if maybe if you tried to do that you might be like whoa that guy's crazy like um, he needs to be on medicine right <laughs> so the reason I'm saying all this is you have to find your own unique strengths and talents and, 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 and strengths and weaknesses and so there's a guy named Ben Stein he's like literally partly famous way back in the day for just being so kind of boring hi I'm Ben Stein but he was a hundred percent himself with the volume turned all the way up you might be an extremely technical person you might use your hands a lot you might be very verbally gifted. you might have imagination and NLP whatever that thing is for you so don't try to go off being something you're totally not but, but find out your unique thing and then turn the volume up on that right so there's people on social media excuse me that can't stand my videos they they don't like the way that I talk in circles and I go down rabbit holes and they want me to just get to the point right so they can't watch me there's other people that go on this ride and journey because I'm making a bigger point so for you when I saw that guy dancing like a crazy guy if something hit me it's like whoa don't ever do that. Just go all out without first getting feedback along the way before you ramp it up and you're full-blown crazy. So get feedback and grow confidence little by little, step by step by step, and let your passion overcome your pressure to peacock. And then the oscillation method is where you talk soft and then you get really loud. And then you tone down your body language and then you oscillate to being dynamic. So all these things um, and, and considering the setting Right. If you're in a business setting, you don't probably don't want to be acting all crazy on a job site and the customer's looking out the window like, oh my God, who, who, I hired this guy who's manic, right? <laughs> and so, but the next thing is there's layers of awareness. If you're aware of that and you're aware of how other people perceive you and you read books like Ken Wilber's Cosmic Consciousness and you, you're aware of how like John perceives Joe, perceives Sally, perceives Mike, perceives Dave, and then Bob is watching all of them and then... Um, David is watching that, and, and you have these different uh, perspectives like paradigms of a, a diamond you can see multi perspectives the reason I'm saying that is because if you're fully aware of how you're being and what's the level of oscillation like how high and how low then as long as you're some, you're conscious of what you're doing and your heart is connected and you're not just disconnected and crazy, you can actually turn it up more and act crazy. Like I will walk around, make vlogs in like Walmart with my wife, there'll be like a like a, a safety cone because the floor is a little wet and I pick up the cone and go, attention, attention, and just joke and my voice would echo and I'd have my wife videotape me, I'd put the cone back. You know, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't run around the store like a maniac, but I would just do little things and then like act like I'm like, 
like do these crazy walks around the store and goof and even strangers would see me and they would just kind of giggle because like oh that guy's just being funny right like because my energy knew that I was just having fun so wh what I mean is that there's a time and place for things like you don't want to uh, I just spoke on stage in Atlanta a couple weeks ago and I'm actually speaking again here next week in Atlanta uh, talking about social media you don't want to be at like a funeral and then go outside in the parking lot and start shooting a video of at the funeral home because you felt like oh I'm bored and I want to go make a video that's insane it's disrespectful it's inappropriate it's not it's not a good look <laughs> but maybe if you were like you're trimming a branch at work landscaping and you took the branch and you did a whole thing about how to cut the branch and the collar and the root and the 45 degree angle and, <laughs> and you made a funny face real quick right people would laugh and it would help drive the point home of the lesson but you went back you so you go outside, like you turn it up and then you, you oscillate and then you go back to being professional, right? Uh, so I was just, I wasn't coaching. I had an idea for some, who was I just, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sitting down with a financial advisor, very professional people. And I was like, you know, what if you guys put on like crazy outfits and like had like confetti and stuff? And at the beginning of like a commercial because I'm sitting at a big round professional table overlooking the city with in a, in a glass building and I'm telling them this stuff and they're like whoa <laughs> so I was like what if you like had this funny silly thing where the financial advisor was wearing like a top hat with the cane and like the assistant is it's almost like a Broadway thing and there's like confetti and like almost like a ma like something like a magic show something where I was like Da, 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 da. like and then all of a sudden and it just shows them very serious at the table like in the suit in the super professional financial environment and it does it's not translating how I'm saying it right now but in the moment it absolutely did and their faces turned red and they started like laughing and then they kind of started adding to it I said but what 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 that sub communicating is hey you people financial advisor stuff doesn't have to be so stressful like we're professional people, but we're real people too. Like snap out of being so uptight and relax and come on in and see this financial advisor, right? If something silly just for a second that oscillates, that shows that we're real people too, then it gets right back to professional. And it's because it's funny like that. It's kind of like that unicorn poop, squatty potty, uh, Harmon Brothers, like silly. My friend Joshua Latimer, uh, I don't know if he still does it, has this war plan studios these commercials they do for people where they're like slow mode slow jam cam type stuff and there's confetti and they got crazy glasses and it's just like a carpet cleaning company or or like a landscaping business but then it gets to serious so this 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 funny oscillation um draws people in and it's very human and it's comical and it doesn't have to be comical it could be very serious hey, I'm talking to you right now. And then it just gets like to grab people's attention. Um, but you're just being your unique self. You're not faking it. So I'm talking about this for a long time. Do you have any interest in learning more about how to do this stuff? Because um, I'm creating, I'm moving in this direction as well as the landscape videos, which is like a, like a, a, a free guide how to create social media media videos with your smartphone keithkelfus.com slash smartphone you can download a totally free guide we also are developing a framework of how to define your niche of what you're going to talk about and how you're going to make your videos and what what's going to resonate with people based off your unique strengths and talents and how to how to how to uncover and discover all that stuff uh, that free PDF download it's a guide we've created we've spent a lot of time on this it's KeithKelfus.com. Oh yeah, defining your superpower. It's KeithKelfus.com slash superpower. Also, if you're interested in learning how to do all this, uh, put the word influence in the comments. Do you want to become maybe an influencer and get your message out? Maybe you want to 
uh, monetize it, all that stuff. So if you're interested in that stuff, let me know in the comments or go to keithkalfas.com slash smartphone. If you want my smartphone guide, keithkalfas.com slash superpower. If you want to learn how to do all this stuff. And I, I just want to see and I'm gauging people's interest. All right. Anyways, uh, I think these juices are ready. I hope all is well with you. And see, ta-da. See you in a flip-flopped out.